All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add an additional website to your hosting. Let's say for an example, you signed up uh, for your hosting to have your website, uh, knuton.com. That's your main website, but you want an additional website for your hosting. You want uh, knuton.org or uh, .co.uk or something like that. So the way we do this is we can go to godaddy.com and then log in or create an account if you don't have an account. Uh, before you do that, you could just search for the domain name. We'll say Knuton. And here you can add a .com, .co, .info, .net, .org, and it all goes down the list. So many different options to choose from. So we're going to do the .org because we want a knuton.org and we're going to click go all right once we do that it's going to ask us do we want all these other things and no you probably don't so just click continue to registration and then they're going to ask you do you want private registration uh, I trust people so you know I'm going to say no on that what that does is it uh, basically covers all of your personal information, uh, your phone number, your name, your email, things like that. Certified domain with website seal, I think that's pretty stupid. Uh, but you know, you can do whatever you want, but I don't recommend these two. So just click continue. Then it's going to ask you more stuff. Again, don't choose any of it. Click continue. I really don't like uh, GoDaddy as for hosting. So I really just like them to purchase your website name or your domain name. So just click continue again. All right, and once that happens, uh, a lot of times it'll, uh, here it'll say five years or something crazy and the price will be something insane. Just do one year because you always have the option of renewing first. So you always have the option of getting it first. So just do one year because you don't need to do five years. You don't need to do anything crazy. Um, once you do that, you can continue to check out, make sure the price is something reasonable. Um, and then it's going to ask you this promo code. And I think you should just remove it because they're probably trying to sell you on something again. So then just uh, continue to check out. And enter your customer number or login. I already have one. If you don't have one, set up a new account. All right, and I'm just going to pay with my credit card. So enter in your information uh, make sure the uh, order total is something reasonable uh, like anywhere from seven to fifteen dollars if you get a real specialized domain it could be up to fifty dollars but for like a dot com it should be under fifteen dollars around the twelve thirteen dollar range so just make sure uh, this is something you know reasonable and not like seventy five dollars read the term in condition yeah right and place order all right so we've placed our order and it wants you to do a free website and all this other crap that you don't need but you don't need it so that's good now we can go to our uh, domains and go to domain management So we don't have our domain here yet, but it will uh, show up soon enough. We have some emails. Uh, so it says order confirmation. Let's click on that and see what's going on. It's spelled right, that's good. And let's go back to our domain manager. It should be here. And there it is. So it takes a little while to get there, but it gets there. 
All right, so we have our .org, and now what we're gonna do is set the name servers. Basically, uh, we're telling uh, GoDaddy what the name of your server is. Basically, where, where should you get all the information and all the content and everything? So this is basically how to link this name to your uh, hosting. So you just click it, and you click name servers, and you click set name servers. and say I have specific name servers for my domain. And these are their name servers, so it gets the content from GoDaddy, but we want to get the content from uh, HostGator. So let's uh, type in, let's search our email for that first HostGator email that they sent us. So HostGator name server. And once we uh, search through the HostGator information, this is the one of the first emails HostGator has sent us. And they tell us our name servers. Now this is a, uh, I modified this file so that I'm not giving away all my information. So I know my uh, name servers and these aren't it. But uh, this is the email HostGator is going to have sent you and these are your name servers so all you do is memorize the name servers or copy them and then put them right here all right and if you don't have hosting on HostGator I recommend it they're really good and just press OK now this is an important information. These changes usually take two hours, but they can take up to 48 hours. So you're gonna have to wait from two to 48 hours. But in the meantime, why don't we just set up our, uh, why don't we just set up our, uh, what we need to do on the HostGator side. So what you need to do in your cPanel in order to accept that uh, new domain name. So we're gonna open up a new tab and we're just gonna go to www.yourwebsite.com slash cpanel and we're gonna put our username and password in here and after we do that we're gonna add on a domain so we're adding on uh, this domain for our hosting so we've already bought the domain now we need to add it to our HostGator hosting so we're gonna add on domain and it asks for the new domain name, just do knuton.org. Obviously, this wouldn't be it, but uh, it would be yournewwebsite.com.net.co.uk, whatever it is, and enter in the password. And add domain. And it says that uh, this is uh, owned by another user, so we have to go back. So it's owned by my um, primary user. So we're gonna gonna say the this FTP username is Knuton Org, and no dots or anything. And then we're gonna do the password and the password again. And now that should work. It didn't work before because it was a duplicate username and then click Add Domain. All right, so we've added on the domain. Now we can go back and we can go to our home. And now we can install uh, WordPress if we want, so on that domain. So let's go. just go to quick install, click WordPress, click continue, and find our new domain, knutent.org. And what's admin email uh, blog title is create a website and the admin name. Just put admin and then install now.
All right, and now it says congratulations, it's ready. Um, and you can go to it. Just I like to copy my password because I can't remember that. And if I click here now, it's not going to work because remember you have to wait that two to 48 hours for it to work. So I click on it now, it's not even going to work. So uh, you have to just wait that time. It usually takes about two hours. And um, once you're done waiting, then uh, WordPress will pop up and you can continue on from there. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to show you that it's not going to work. So nothing. This is the GoDaddy, you know, landing page. So I have to wait two hours and then the WordPress page will pop up right here. So I hope you liked this uh, tutorial. If you have any problems, uh, please comment below and remember to subscribe. Thank you so much.